Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ACB. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I'll let you this time frame as a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance much easier to see. Uh, you know, today price made some progress and I'll explain more of what I mean by progress, uh, but there's definitely some kind of very important levels going uh, into the into next week. And remember, it is Memorial Day on Monday, so the markets will not be open. But the main point, you know, I threw out the word progress. What do I mean by progress? Well, the, the, the progress is not necessarily the price went all the way up there. The progress is the fact that when the price pulled back, it actually leveled off before starting to bounce back upwards again. And that leveling off point is right here around 327. So in my mind, that's a very, very important level going into next week. Because if you stop and think about it, and I'm not saying this will happen, but if the price were to come down to that area, and history does not repeat itself, so it does not hold like it did right there, so the price continues on down, what would you have at that point? Well, you would literally have the price right back inside of that range that it just broke out of. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true power, true strength, or anything like that. Whereas if history can repeat itself some more, so in other words, if the price were to go down there, and once again, that level holds up, so price comes down here, behaves in this manner, and then starts to work its way back upwards. Now, what would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right there. You'd have those lows down there if you envision each of those as stair steps. Well, now you got stair steps making progress in the upwards direction. And that's the name of the game. That's what it's all about. Price movements making progress. And once more, in this situation, I'm just defining and quantifying that phrase progress is $8.25. So overall though, a good healthy day. Sure, it would have been you know better if the price could have maintained up above 835, but overall the price chipped away and built that higher low, so we'll see if the price can continue with that or not. As far as areas of resistance, keep a close eye on the purple line right there as next week plays out on my chart that denotes the 50 period simple moving average. But all in all, nice way to close out the week. Now it's just a question of can the price build upon this momentum next week? We will see. Everybody have a great Memorial Day weekend. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.